And now, from the Logan Metro Stadium, it's fight time! Five three-minute rounds, full of tie rules. The winner will be the CMT Super Middleweight Champion. Introduce to you first, fighting out of the blue corner with a fight record of 47 fights, 35 wins, 23 by knockout. He stands 182 centimeters tall. He weighed in at 75.5 kilograms. Trained out of the full force gym in Sydney, Australia. By day, he works at the Sydney Opera House by night, he's a three-time CMT competitor for three knockout victories. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Australia, Michael Badass Batado! And introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner with 130 fights, 99 victories, 70 coming by way of a knockout. He stands 180 centimetres tall, weighing in at 76 kilograms even. Trained out of Team NASA out of France. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a nine at times world champion. Please give it up for Johan, the Lumberjack Ladder! Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, welcome. Five three-minute rounds, full-time rules. The only exclusions being 12 six elbows, do you understand? Make sure you listen to my command at all times. Defend yourself at all times. So the bell boys, let's hook them up, get ready for work. Good luck. Seven ago, this is like tonight everyone's raised the bar and everyone's just trying to hurt each other. It's awesome. I wanted to drag you in here because the last man you um, fought in this cage is Johan Ladon. He's a beast, isn't he? Oh, mate, his, his right hand is an atomic bomb. If that gets you, you you're gone. But Badato brings a different sort of crazy when he enters the cage. So the next, these first two rounds are just going to be off the chart. It's the best defence, I've called it, that I've seen, uh, Ledon, against the best attack for CMT and Bedardo. This is tailor-made. Lick your lips. Bedardo in the blue shorts and Ledon from France in the black with red trim. Bedardo doesn't waste any time. He just wants to knock people out. As soon as, it gets, as, soon as he hears that first bell ring, and, and uh, whereas Johan's more calculated, he'll try and go the five rounds. So he'll try and pace himself. If, if, if Bedardo can jump on Johan early and catch him cold, who knows what's going to happen. That's probably his chance, isn't it, Wayne? Because uh, oh, as you oh, saw oh, in your oh. fight... Oh, look at this. Some beautiful shots and a lovely right elbow from Bedardo. And, and if, again, he leads with that right elbow. That's a great way to, to, to start. Again, with Mini T, hurt. we saw it. That left rip's hurting too. You don't know how bad those little gloves hurt when they go to the liver. This um, is this is the Badado we love and know. The big overhand elbows in the first 30 seconds. I think he sold three. He's mini T in a bigger version, and that's why we love him on CMT. He's unconventional and leads with stuff that experienced fighters of regular Muay Thai aren't going to... It's just a promoter's dream, you know, having the promoter here. He's done so well tonight with the matchups, and this too is exceptional. And right away, uh, they've started to, I guess, sort of settle down Uh Johan Ledon, no stranger to a fighter, putting some pressure on him in the cage. He had oh. you last time out, Wayne, and um, he has pretty good defence. Yeah, look at the two best shots so far, those left rips from Badato, and, uh, you know, very quickly he can say, oh, OK, we're in a fight here, I've just got to compose myself. Oh, oh shit. Solid check, just a slip. Uh, it's, it's amazing that, uh, considering Johan's over, had, uh, over 130 fights, Badato's not intimidated one little bit. He's walking forward. He's trying to apply the pressure. That's and, the and, way and the man works. And they said he works at the Opera House. He's a security guard, so don't flog anything from the Opera House because you'll get flogged. Yeah. Uh, Johan, a gentleman, as is Michael, outside of the ring, but just so solid and, and just an atomic bomb. And he's got also, which, what we haven't seen yet, a looping high kick that comes up, much like Yod Sinclair, that, just, that leg that just snaps up, Wayne. Yeah, but Ado, he's, he's trying to get in range. He's looking for that sneaky up, uh, uppercut elbow off the right hand. There he, there he goes again. He's thrown it about half a dozen times so far, just missing the mark. Yeah, we've seen that a few times. The one fighter pushing the pace, the other guy trying to counter, and, and quite often the guy coming in has been caught. 
And uh, the two men in centre ring are two men you don't want to be caught by. Johan Ledon Ooh, from nice France. Counter, nice counter. Red and black and a beautiful counter there called by Wayne Parr. Blue shorts for Michael Bedardo who marches forward and cops something on the way in. Right hand the oh, oh, and sits right. a Frenchman on his backside with a beautiful right crossing and elbow. Him up. And he's cutting. Yeah. He's cutting. Oh, it's in the hairline, up high, but it's a decent one because it was spurting there for a little bit. But It'll be it's... fine. It's spurting, but it's spurting away from the eye. Ladon to... stung early with an eight count. Yeah, more to the point. He got hurt. There's that rip. Beautiful stuff from Bedardo. Bedardo firing hard and firing early, much like Mini T to try and unsettle a more experienced opponent. At this stage, it appears to be working. Whoa, there we go, end of the first round. Very exciting. Gentlemen, we've got ourselves a main event. Hey, Wayne, you must be so excited. I mean, for, for Bedardo, how important is this and what does it do for him to go and win against Lyndon tonight? This puts him on the world stage. I don't know how many people are tuning in around the world, but Bernardo's been making a name here in Australia for a number of years, but he's never really had that opportunity to, to showcase his skills. And then hopefully tonight against a world-class champion like, like uh, Johan, and to drop him, that's that's a, that's a win in itself. It doesn't matter what happens from here. Well, he's it, cut Johan Ladon, who, as I said from the start, I think is defensively he's uh, fantastic. And the knockdown's coming up. We didn't try and hide the fact he came out, and I think he threw three big overhand rights before he got him. But he did get him close to the ring near here. It was a beautiful Very solid right shot. elbow. Here it comes. Bang, right on the button and sat the Frenchman down. Now, Ladon straight back up because he's tough. But well, he's not, cut. Not only that, he's also smart too. Peter Hickmon is a fantastic judge. He's done an awesome job tonight. And that was a true knockdown. Very quickly, he's like, oh, what? And the referee can almost say, okay, fight on, fight on. A 10-8 yeah. um, first round for Bedardo. And I don't think many people would expect to see Johan Ladon bleeding at this stage. But that's what CMT brings. Because people get preoccupied with the gloves and then bang, a right elbow gets through. Wayne, if, if you're talking to Johan right now and you can speak perfect French, what are you saying? Do you need to say anything to a champion of that ilk? Just, yeah, be careful. Yeah, but Bernardo's just only looking for the elbows. That's all he's throwing since the, the last three minutes. That's all he's looking for, the uppercut right elbow and the overhand elbow. I yeah. haven't seen the beautiful leg kicks of Johan Ladon. He's got some pretty strong legs. I'd, I'd like to see them to just sort of, or perhaps even the teep into the bread basket to try and get Bernardo on the way in. Look, he did get caught there, but I think he was, it was a really good round. You know, Bernardo is very, very... You know, explosive uh, and, and can come from all angles. I think Lyndon was right. He, he didn't back away, but he had a real good look at him. Very careful. And the problem if you're Michael Bedardo is, yes, you've dropped him, you put a 10-8, but he's still in front of you. And he looks fairly, fairly okay, just the Frenchman, which means we're in for another fabulous round. Thank you for joining us live around the world via Go Fight Live, real-time production. John Wayne Pass, CMT5. This is the main event. Michael Bedardo putting an eight count in the first round on the Frenchman, Johan Ladon, who reels back from a jab and fires off a tape that doesn't find its destination. Bleeding is the Frenchman and full of confidence and pressing forward is the Aussie. Oh, nice overhand right by uh, Johan. Now that, that right hand, when I fought him, it was crazy how fast it shoots out. So Michael can't get complacent, even though he's got the one, the one knockdown. If he, if he takes his mind off the game for one second, there's a good chance he might get caught. And I love, again, the balance and movement of the Frenchman. He's just getting out of the way of Bedardo. And we saw this with Housen and Mini T. Yeah, that's that overhand right I was talking about. Once they've it's seen the unpredictableness, then the great fighters step up, don't they, Wayne? Yes. <laughs> oh, nice. The beautiful chopping the leg. But oh. Bedardo fires one back. I tell you what, he's a game customer, is Michael Bedardo. He's as tough as they come, and he's here to fight. This is probably the best Michael Bedardo I've ever seen. It is he's, good. He's moving so sharp. I the will angles say, he's working. Guys, he is proppy on his leg there. He was a fraction proppy just there. I don't think he can afford to yeah. not check a few more kicks from the Frenchman. Oh, nice right hand. You know, you so, the, sometimes the, you wonder, the, you know, the, the life experience of these boys. You know, Lyndon's done it all. He's been there. He's done that. He's fought the best in the world. You know, Bedardo's still at the early of his career. The hunger's going to play a big part in this fight. I don't think Johan Ladon turned up not hungry oh. to win as he cops a few beautiful body shots and an elbow on the way out. Skips out back into centre ring and controls it. Good sign of a champion, but there were some clean shots from Michael Bedardo who pushes forward further as we move late into this uh, second round. A better round for the Frenchman on account that he hasn't had a knockdown. But to see there with the left leg of Bedardo, I think he's getting proppy on it Ooh. because it's continually getting chopped by a man who, as you said, Wayne, Fires some pretty heavy artillery at the legs. 
I think more so, uh, but they went to throw a leg kick and caught a check on the knee. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, and he got the right. beautiful right. I think it was a, it was a flat, fraction so flat. Fast. It was a bit of a bit of a right hook overhand right there. Yeah, Wayne, you called it a little bit earlier. That was so fast. It's almost like a, a, a hook slash short right behind Let's right. watch this so last fast. 30 seconds of this round because Michael Bedardo has a new challenge oh. in front of him to stay on his feet as he cups another right from the Don who tries oh. to step up knee but slipped. A few people have slipped today. He's got 20 seconds to stay alive, does Bedardo. Not just to oh. save this round, but to save this fight because that oh, left leg kick absolutely ripped into pieces. He pushes forward with courage. Oh, my God. Misses heavy shots. Huge shots, and Ladon is just going to work in the final 10 seconds of round number two. Ominous signs. We're all evened up. We've got one hell of a fight. Ominous <laughs> signs, gentlemen, as we move into the third for Michael Bedardo. It seems like the French steam train, as you found out last time, Wayne, takes a round or two to get going. It's definitely going now. I think I was expecting Michael Bedardo to be reckless, careless, going for the knockout early. But tonight he's calculated, his footwork's working, he's, he's not staying in range and, and he's not wasting shots. We're going to have a look at some... Usually Bernardo's gas by now. We're so going to have a look at some highlights now and I've got to say again, this is the best condition that I've seen Michael Bernardo. You're right, getting through from bell to bell. He pressed hard after that knockdown. Just fighting smart, really, really smart. And I think you know, Lyndon was waiting his time, he missed him a few times with that overhand right, but just coming up here, we'll see there, so no, that one didn't miss. There's an overhand right. Johan has been terrorising the lead leg of Bedardo, and at some stage that's got to play a part when you're getting kicked that hard. Ooh. Ooh. Right on the button. And then that, we see that beautiful knock down there. What's Reinhard Bedardo saying in, his, in this corner right now? Play smart, keep doing what you're doing and don't stand in the pocket with him, otherwise you're going to get whacked by the right hand again. That's the way to do it. Don't stand in front of this guy because he's enormous for a 76 kilo fighter. That right, that right hand so fast. I, I've been in there with him. I know how hard he hits and I know how fast it is and it's crazy. And he, he dropped me a couple of times with it too. I'm, I was very lucky to get the win when I fought him. Uh, there was a couple of times the referee didn't count and uh, if had there been anywhere else, there's a chance I would have lost. But I, I, as an opponent, Johan is probably one of the hardest guys I've ever fought uh, punching wise. That right hand so fast. Up there, him. how does he compare to Jotzen Klein? It, it's different. Yeah, it's a guy's a different beast, but Johan can definitely, he's definitely in my top top three guys that I've fought around the world. Wow, that's a big one. Huge praise for the Frenchman on screen from 10-time world champion John Wayne Parr. And here's Michael Bedardo matching him. So how good's Bedardo now? Bedardo Michael Bedardo has just raised his uh, level of uh, amazingness. <laughs> not just matching him, but putting an eight count on him in the first round. That's where the claret on the top of the Frenchman. It's not a hair dye, I can assure you of that. Is coming from an eight count apiece. That's the story of it so far. Bedardo in the in in the last round got hit with some heavy artillery. Good left kick. Copped a, a right hook that uh, sat him down for an eight count. But in the first round, a beautiful elbow got him a 10-8 against the Frenchman. So it's all even, Stephen. With two rounds to go for the CMT three. Super Middleweight Title fight. Three rounds. Three. Sorry, I can't count. This is round three, four, five. Yes, you're right. <laughs> oh. oh! Huge overhand right, Badato. And Ladon is in a place he has never been before. He may get up. He will not get up from no, here. He not. looks heavy. He's hurt. Severely oh, he hurt as the French champion. Michael Badato. The champion is down. The champion is down. The referee has called the fight, and Michael Badato is the CMT super middleweight world champion. And we've just seen the new. Man coming through, Padado. The biggest scalp of his career. We'll see it here. Here it comes, all the way from Kansas. An absolute meteorite of a shot. And he stands over him as if to say, I've just knocked out a nine-time world champion. And that's what happens at CMT. That doesn't happen anywhere else. Wow, right behind the oh, ear, they right. don't get up from that. And, and you know what, he was trying to get up. You could see it in his face, he was trying to get up. There's a world champion nine times over with 130 fights. You better believe he was trying to get yeah. up. Look, he still hasn't recovered from that, no bro. No. He still hasn't recovered. He has now, but he's... No, he's, he's still shaky. shaky. <laughs> he's on shaky ground, that, bro. Wow. Michael Badass Badato. Many, what a fantastic, many, Rich. How many times do you see Michael finish fighters with that overhand right, whether it hits him on the before the ear, just behind the ear, but I tell you, this guy 
not only is he promo promotion his dream, but he can fight. Well, he is on the centre stage now. Everyone seeing live stream across the world has just seen one of the best fighters we have. Man, that's, that was... The whole, the whole rounds, each round was getting stronger and stronger for both fighters. It was, but this, as I say, like just those four ounce gloves, that one punch can change the whole game. Well, well we just had uh, Lyndon here, sorry, John Wayne saying Lyndon is the top three best fighter or in the top three than he's ever faced. Yep. And what does that make Michael Bedardo? Scary. Scary. He's dancing up a storm in here. We're going to go to centre ring now with the official result. We're going to see Dave Mack. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our main event here at CMT. Proudly brought to you by Gasoline Alley, Harley Davidson. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and CMT super middleweight champion now moves to four fights inside of the CMT cage, four wins by a knockout, and now he is the world champion, CMT super middleweight champion, Michael Badass Badato! <laughs>